a role played by hedge funds in the market volatility surrounding Deutsche Bank has once again highlighted the pressures faced by smaller asset managers amid an already challenging climate for the industry. Deutsche Bank CEO John Cryan's opening line in his letter to employees last week pinned some of the blame for lenders' share price plummet on speculation in the media that some hedge fund clients had reduced business with the German lender. Cryan was referring to prime brokerage activities, wherein banks provide a bundled and tailored package of services to hedge funds, such as securities lending or cash management. One hedge fund professional who asked to remain anonymous because of the sensitivity of business relations told CNBC over the phone that the larger hedge funds named in the press as having withdrawn business, likely had enough negotiating leverage to return to Deutsche Bank before long if they wished. This contrasts with the experience of smaller hedge funds who are finding it increasingly difficult to engage a prime broker at all, with another manager, who also asked to remain anonymous because of the sensitivity of business relations, telling CNBC that unless funds were able to raise a significant amount of capital themselves, around $250 million, and demonstrate that they have the potential and capacity to generate significant trades, their business is increasingly unwanted by the larger service providers. Given a recent wave of consolidation in the prime brokerage industry on the back of a wave of new regulatory obligations and a reassessment of profitability potential, the number of top-notch prime brokerage providers for hedge funds to approach has dwindled. For example, RBS and Nomura shuttered some of their operations in recent years while UBS has restructured towards a more balance sheet light model. The result is a shrinking core of leading prime brokers which now includes Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Deutsche Bank and J.P. Morgan on the equity side and Citi, J.P. Morgan and Barclays on the Airfax side.